Well, my name is Travis, company of Green Conversion, and I'm just uh, demonstrating my three-way solenoid valve, uh, which is used for selecting um, vegetable oil or different fuels for vegetable oil conversion, straight vegetable oil conversion. Um, three ports, all with uh, bushings and with brass fuse, fuel barbs, hose barbs for 516 fuel lines. Um, so it's wired in, and this is a semi-automatic unit. It basically has a controller, which includes a temperature switch. And I sell these individually, with or without the fittings, with or without the controller, and with or without the temperature switch. So you get lots of options, but this is basically um, everything. Um, and then I also sell it complete with a filter and the heat exchangers as a complete kit. So I just want to give you as many options as possible. So right now, um, it's de-energized. The de-energized is state is through is diesel, so you got it labeled on there. So right now, see I'm blowing through there, so it blows straight through. The injection pump is hooked to the diesel. So when I switch it, green light turns on here, red light turns on there. This thing is energized, which means now it's going to vegetable oil. So I'm blowing in through the injection pump. See it's coming in there, and then I turn it off. comes out through there. So that's just, that's called the bypass mode. So that automatically, you turn it to bypass, no matter what, it engages to vet the vegetable oil. It turns on vegetable oil. So in the, the veg mode, basically where I said written veg, that basically is engaging your temperature switch, which basically makes it so that it only switch once it reaches the right temperature. And you can select the different temperatures. This is a 110 degree Fahrenheit switch. And it depends because you lose some heat through the conduction, like through the tube. Like I hooked this to a piece of aluminum tube um, that the fuel flows through. So it should be reading the temperature, but yet the temperature of the oil is always higher than the valve. So 110, I should be switching at least 120, probably more like 130. Um, I also sell 100s, which are good as well. So what you do is you would drive, get in your vehicle, you turn it on, the veg, but you see the light's not on, solenoid's not engaged because you haven't reached temperature yet. So normally, this would be inside your, you know, basically in your, under your hood in your vehicle and connected to a piece of aluminum line and as the fuel's heated, it'll reach, read the temperature and go from there. So what I'm going to do, I don't know if you can see this, um, I'm going to heat it up with a lighter. So I'll hold this up here and you'll see that when it gets up to temperature, the light will engage and it turns on veggie. So. Now it hit the 110 internally, like the lighter really wasn't a great way of doing that. So this is engaged now and bypass light, or the, the green light is on, meaning it hits vegetable oil. So it reached the temperature and engaged. And it, even though it clicks to 110, it's got to cool down um, significantly before it uh, turns back off. So what you would do, you leave it on, on while you're driving, and then when you're ready to turn it off, like when you get close to your destination, at least five minutes perch time, you turn it off and then you'd be running on diesel. You'd run five minutes at least to purge all the diesel out of the system. So those are my valves. Um, email if you have any questions. Travis at greenconversion.net.